Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So it has recently been announced by Blackpool Pleasure Beach that they are hoping to reopen their doors for guests on July 4th after being closed for over two months due to the coronavirus. As expected, the park are implementing new rules and regulations in order to help keep guests safe when they come into the Pleasure Beach. And for today's video, we're going to run through the rules that are going to be put in place ready for when the park reopens. So on their official website here, it gives you further information about their new reopening measures. So let's see what kind of things Blackpool Pleasure Beach will be doing upon reopening. So on the official Blackpool Pleasure Beach website, there is uh, full details of what to expect when they uh, reopen. Blackpool Pleasure Beach is preparing to reopen respectfully and safely. We will be introducing a range of new policies and procedures to ensure our amusement park remains as safe as possible for all our guests. In line with current government guidance, we expect to be able to reopen Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the 4th of July 2020. In the meantime, please take a look at these measures we are putting in place as we prepare to welcome you back. Before you visit, it says please book in advance online to avoid disappointment and use our new e-ticket, allowing you to enter the park as soon as you arrive. So does that mean that there's going to be no wristband system? So for those who don't know, Blackpool Pleasure Beach runs a wristband system in which when you enter the park, they put a wristband on your wrist and at each entrance um, to each ride, there is like a little scanner that you put your wristband under, you scan it and that allows you to go through and to go onto the ride. So by the sounds of this e-ticket, this could possibly be perhaps replacing the wristband, um, but we'll know more on that as we continue on. It also says, please do not plan to visit us should you have any symptoms associated with COVID-19. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are recent onset of a new continuous cough or a high temperature or a loss of or change in a normal sense of taste or smell. We may also ask that you have your temperature checked at the park entrance. So having your temperature checked at park entrances is pretty much a set thing to expect now when it comes to things gradually reopening. Um, that doesn't surprise me at all that we are being asked to have our temperatures checked. Next up, to enable social distancing across our outdoor amusement park, we have capped the number of guests allowed on the park on a daily basis to give you a safe and enjoyable day out. Okay, so they're reducing the uh, capacity. They're going to reopen the park at a limited capacity. Not too sure exactly on what kind of reduced capacity we're looking at. Is it running at 50% for example, 25 even, uh, 75? We don't know. It doesn't give us that exact figure, but we do know that the Pleasure Beach are going to be reducing their amount of daily guests that they're allowing onto the park. That reduction of capacity really is going to help them a lot because it's a much smaller park than the likes of Alton Towers. Moving on, for the safety of yourself, other guests and our team, please follow our new guidelines when planning and during your visit. So next up, it actually just tells you a little bit more information on the e-ticket system that they've put into place. So there's a few questions here that they have answered. The first one is, what is the e-ticket? The e-ticket is an electronic ticket held on your phone or printed out by yourself before you arrive. How does it work? Once you've made your booking online, you will be able to claim a barcode for each ticket you have purchased. Each person in your group will need a barcoded e-ticket to enter the park. These can be held on one phone, for example, in your Apple wallet, they can be held on each individual's phone or you can print them out on your own prior to your arrival. Please note it says here that the Pleasure Beach passes will not be available to purchase whilst we operate under these new COVID-19 procedures. The e-ticket will be the only type of ticket available to purchase. 
So that is very understandable. It's definitely going to help in terms of the entrance process rather than having people wait in lines waiting to get their wristband and things like that. Everyone's already got this e-ticket. They can print it out. They can have it electronically on their phone if they want to. I think that is a really, really good plan that they've put into place. The final question and answer here about the e-ticket system is how does it help? And their answer to this is, to enable social distancing, we have replaced wristbands with an e-ticket. This means when you arrive at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, you do not have to visit ticket sales to collect your wristbands or have a member of our team fit the wristband on your wrist. So this is a definite thing. It's replacing wristbands. Is this going to be a permanent measure, do you think? Are they going to get rid of the wristband system for good? Blackpool Pleasure Beach has been doing wristbands for a very 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 long time it is a little bit of an outdated way to do things and this e-ticket that they've brought in because of the covid situation i think that this has really um kind of forced them to rethink their entrance process and the wristband system so it's nice to see that they've gone a little bit more down the updated technology route um, they're not relying on the wristbands anymore. Uh, we could see them return. We don't know. But let's move on. The next section is what we are doing to protect you. And the first one is we have introduced a range of new, more frequent and enhanced deep cleaning measures across our park, rides and attractions. Again, this is another obvious one. Um, we need more deep cleaning measures across theme parks, across amusement parks, across, well, pretty much everywhere at this moment in time. It's just so important to keep sanitised, to keep clean, wash our hands and whatnot as much as we possibly can. Moving on to more of the hand sanitising things now. Blackpool Pleasure Beach have said that they are providing new hand sanitization facilities. It says, please wash your hands with soap and water in one of our many facilities around the park and also use the hand sanitizer dispensers located around the park. I think this is an absolutely fantastic idea. I think it'll make people think more about washing their hands. Next up, our teams around the park will be equipped with a range of appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE. This PPE is to protect our team members as well as our guests. Absolutely true. Uh, the guests need to be protected, but so do the workers. And having the appropriate PPE is one of the best ways to do that. Obviously, you want to keep people safe and you want to keep them protected too. It also says just underneath it too that the entire Pleasure Beach team will be temperature tested each day. So that is fantastic as well. You've got to keep your employees safe and you've got to keep the guests safe as well. What to expect on your visit is the next little section on their website. On arrival at the park and throughout your day, please look out for our ambassadors and follow their instructions. This team are here to help you any questions you may have and ensure all our guests have a great visit. I really do hope that all of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach team are met with respect, are not um, shouted at or suffer any kind of abuse just for doing their jobs and trying to implement these rules. Our teams have received training in preparation of our reopening. All teams in all departments, including customer facing and behind the scenes, are temperature tested before commencing work each day. So it's really great to see that the employees have had uh, appropriate training on how to handle things when the Pleasure Beach reopens. This is a massive thing for all um, companies right now. A lot of things are changing. These are very weird times and it's great to see that staff have been appropriately trained. Next up, we've introduced social distancing measures in queue lines around the park. Please strictly observe these guidelines, respecting other guests and follow the advice of our team at all times. Again, it's a little bit more about respecting the staff, the team members who are here to help you. But on top of that, they've introduced social distancing measures in queue lines around the parks. 
I think this is a rather obvious thing that everywhere needs to do. It's just basic social distancing at this point that we all kind of just expect. Next up is a, there's been a dedicated plan for each ride. Things have been changed for each attraction, for each ride in order to enable the social distancing between groups. It says this will vary according to each ride, so please follow the signage guidelines and instructions from our ride operators. Of course, all rides are going to operate in slightly different ways. The queue lines are slightly different for each ride as well. Each ride operates differently, and I'm really happy that they've kind of gone through each ride and taken into consideration all of these factors and then created a plan. It's not a one plan fits all for each of these attractions. They've gone round, they've really thought things through about each individual coaster or attraction experience across the park. To help us enable social distancing during the visit, the direction of travel along some of our walkways have been changed. Please follow the signage. So obviously to me, that sounds like they are implementing a one-way system uh, in certain areas of the park, but not all areas of the park. I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. Moving on to uh, face masks uh, slash face coverings. Some rides may require you to wear a face covering. Please bring a suitable face covering with you. We suggest you bring two. Face coverings will be available to buy here at the Pleasure Beach. Some rides may require you to wear a face covering. So it's not saying that it's mandatory for all attractions. It is going to be rather interesting to know which rides um, are mandatory for face coverings and which are not. But we're going to move on yet again. It says, on some rides, it may be necessary for us to leave empty seats between guests. Please follow the guidelines on each individual ride. Again, so they're measuring this on an individual ride basis rather than a, you know a one size fits all kind of thing. Also, it says here about contactless payments. Please be prepared to make contactless payments so they're not going to operate in cash. Again, this is a really obvious one, I think, uh, and a one that was to be expected. C cash is incredibly filthy. It's very, very dirty and it gets passed around constantly. That's absolutely fine by me. I use contactless quite a lot anyways, uh, rather than cash. It's kind of rare that I carry cash on me at all now, to be honest. So that is not going to bother me too much. And I completely understand why they've put that in place. A new online food ordering system is being developed. Oh, this is an interesting one. Allowing guests to order a selection of food during their visit from their mobile phone, which can be collected at a designated time and location. Our restaurants, cafes and takeaway units will be open, but please bear in mind, many of these will operate in different ways to that which you've been used to. Additional outdoor seating has also been arranged in dedicated areas across the park. They've actually gone to the extent of de developing a new online food ordering system. And I think that this is absolutely fantastic. I think that that will then allow them to control the crowds a bit more in regards to you know, prime times where people would want to buy food, like lunch times, like later on in the day, perhaps about four o'clock, five o'clock, something like that. Uh, that's going to allow them to uh, just control the crowds a little bit better. So that sounds great. That's fantastic. Our wide range of gift and souvenir shops will be open with adaptations to ensure social distancing. Guests can also visit our online shop and have items delivered to their home address. I do that quite a lot with Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I usually order a lot of things online. I will purchase things when I'm at the park, but really um, I will order things mostly online from them now souvenir shops gift shops they are going to be open but they're just not going to operate in the same way that they did prior to uh, the covid19 outbreak which is of course understandable moving on to the last couple of points now some of our guest experiences such as photograph opportunities i can't speak with our characters have been modified or suspended to ensure social distancing is maintained Again, another obvious one, the characters will be at a distance from guests. And in some cases, it sounds like some character meetups just won't be happening at all. Um, it says modified or suspended. 
So it's going to be interesting to see which characters are going to be out um, and which characters have been suspended, which have been modified and things like that. And this last one here is about, uh, again, just the safety of guests and staff members. It basically says that there is a dedicated team of security officers patrolling the park and they're going to be patrolling the park at all times. You know, by the sounds of it, we're going to be seeing a lot of security officers just patrolling the park, making sure everyone's staying safe, obeying the rules, the regulations, and also just having a safe but fun time. And this last bit here, which is very important to mention is, we look forward to welcoming you soon. When you're here, please be patient, be kind and have fun. Please note these measures are constantly changing and being reviewed in line with government and health authority guidelines. Please check our website and social media pages for information and updates. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be weird. But of course, all of these rules and regulations, I completely agree with because at the end of the day, guest safety and staff safety is number one. It's the priority, especially during these times with the COVID-19 virus. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. I think that what Blackpool Pleasure Beach have done in terms of introducing these new rules and regulations, um, a lot of them were ones that I expected. I'm really glad that they've given us an update as well on when they hope to reopen it's going to be a very very interesting thing seeing all of these parks operate in such a, a weirdly strange way uh very weird but very interesting at the same time and i hope that if you do go to blackpool pleasure beach um that you follow the rules the guidelines that the team have put into place and i hope that you do still have a very very fun but safe day at the pleasure beach so thank you so much for watching for listening i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and click on that subscribe button what do you think of these rules let me know in the comment section down below thank you so so much for watching once again and i hope to see you guys in my next video